Hi, my name's Natalie, welcome to Vintageous. I'm a huge advocate of being able to step out your front door with no makeup and without your hairstyle and feeling 100% beautiful because that is what you are absolutely the way nature intended however I do understand the power of makeup and currently I'm not feeling that brilliant I'm not going to go into details why but a little bit of Betty really brings me up I went out to school this morning with no hair no makeup done and I know that today getting my Betty on is just going to make me feel so much better I've already primed my face not actually a primer but I find it works really nicely under my foundation with Garnier Skin Naturals Dark Spot Corrector and uh, it's a really light um, serum-y type formulation and I'm just hoping that it's going to help me get rid of some hyperpigmentation and melasma that I suffer from. Uh, then I have gone over that with a mixture of um, Maybelline's Dream Bronze BB Cream in light medium and um, Rimmel's per Match Perfection in Soft Beige, a mixture of that. This gives a really light sheer finish, it's a bit shiny, and this is slightly heavier. So I've mixed the two together to get a, a little bit of in between and smacked it on my face. I've saved you the boredom of watching me do that. And then I've just um, dusted over Rimmel Stay Matte Perfection Pressed Powder in her Silky Beige. So now I'm ready just to do a tiny bit of contouring, just to highlight my cheekbone area. And to do that, I'm using this little um, bronzer by Guerlain. Guerlain? I don't know how to say that. It's a French word. Um, I don't know. Do you know what? I don't even know where this came from. I think it's my sister-in-law's. It's just a little bronzer in terracotta. I wouldn't 100% advocate putting terracotta on your face usually but this seems to give a really nice bronzy colour so I'm just aiming for where my lower cheekbone is and applying I'm now going to use Benefit's Fine 1-1 One One, um, Stick to Powder Blush and Highlighter it comes in three sections a nice champagne highlight a watermelon middle and a corally bottom. <laughs> corally bottom. Um, I'm just going to use the highlighter section just to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. God, I've been doing, um, trying to learn hula hooping, not just around my waist, but like hula dance, and I've smacked myself in the face so hard with my hula hoop so many times and really bruised my cheekbone. It really hurts. Howie wowie. But anyway, highlight up there. Now I'm just going to take a brush and swipe it across those two centre colours. So it's a corally and a watermelony colour. I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. In like a sticky motion. Your first guess might be to apply a big cat eye, but actually if you look at pictures of Betty, she has quite hooded eyes and veered away from the, the uh, large cat eyeliner flick. So I'm just going to go in with um, using MUA's Makeup Academy palette in Heaven and Earth. This, these, I uh, can't rave enough about MUA to be honest. It's fantastically cheap and really, um, really good quality stuff. So I'm going to go in with the colour, where are we, that nice middle one there. So that is Golden Sands Mayan Dust. You just want a light, really nearly skin coloured um, slightly lighter than your skin tone actually, if we're being honest shadow over the entirety of your lid from lash to brow and then just a slightly taupey colour here you've got to go with your natural skin tone I want it to, my eyes to look defined but pretty much like I'm not wearing eye makeup so I can't tell you to use these exact same colours because I don't know what your skin tone is um, if you've got a caramel skin tone you're going to have to go darker if you've got porcelain skin you're going to have to step that couple of shades lighter so just look at your own face and the shadows that are created with natural light and go for those kind of colours but just accentuate the colours that you've already got in your face and you'll be there 
Right, okay, so now I'm going for this taupey colour, which in my palette is a, oh, it's all backwards, Amber June, this is called here. And I'm just going to take that in my socket line, blend it out. Now the eyeliner I'm going to use today is Tarte Precision Longwear Liner and I'm going to give myself a wee little flick, um, a very slender cat eye, very slim. I didn't show you the application of my eyeliner there because I don't want to make this video too long but if you want to check out how to easily apply a nice little winged eye then check out this video here. I'm actually going to make a, um, an updated version of this but it's, it's good. <laughs> Go here if you need to know. Um, it's very quick and easy and pretty infallible. So check that out if you need to. I'm going to define my eyebrows, just going in again with this precision longwear liner, just making very dainty and light sweeping movements just to fill in any um, sections of my eyebrow that aren't looking so full. So towards the front. I'm not going for a big block scouse brow here. Um, just keeping the movements light and hair-like, just defining my natural brow. seen with the lovely deep red lipstick. I'm going to go for pink today because I fancy it, no other reason. Through this tutorial I have had Waxeline on my lips which is an all natural um, version of Vaseline, it smells delicious. I've just had it on my lips just to keep them nice and moisturised, ready for my lipstick, lipstick application. Um, today I'm going to be using, where is my lipstick? Here it is, um, Pink Punch by Rimmel, colour sensation. And this is the um, lipstick I'm wearing in my six pin-up looks for beginners video. People often ask what I'm wearing and it's this, I think. Yeah, it is this. <laughs> yeah, it's on that video. Um, so yeah, it's this one. And I'm just going to go in with the stick, no brush, told you, not a makeup artist. Just going in and whacking it on. Over the Vaseline it's going to be a little bit more sheer. I'm going to use my finger to move it around my lips. Oh my god, it matches my curtain. What's the most iconic thing about Betty Page? Her bangs. Well, that's a bit unfair to say that, isn't it? She has got an iconic hairstyle though. Um, the, the, the fringe, the U-shaped Betty bangs. I had these last year, I trimmed them about three times and I love having Betty bangs. But then I grew them out. They're about chin length now and I think I'm going to keep them grown out because I find longer fringe, longer bangs to be a little bit more versatile um, for hairstyles. However, I've bought these um, clip-in Betty bangs by Classy Rebel. They're a 360 style bang so you get the fringe at the front and then some hair at the back to blend in and the sides. It has almost like a fake crown at the top so they really are unrecognisable as clip-ins. I've had clip-in fringes before and they have a straight track at the top and they're really visible. You have to wear a headscarf over the top. You know, it's not ideal, but this you can just go for it with these on and, and hair down. It's like an instant Betty look. Oh, it's fantastic. You won't believe it. Um, I'll put all the details down below of the lady that sells them. She's got a Facebook page and, and a website and stuff, so I'll include that in the description box. But yes, I'm going to whack these in. Um, they're just clipped in via two um, little kind of extension clips there and there and you pop them in and then I'm going to style my hair once the bangs are in so I can include these um, blendy bits in with my own hair and make it look au naturel I'm just going to split my own fringe to the side now I'm going to include my own fringe in the waving um, and it helps to blend it all in but um, the lady that makes these recommends clipping your this side bit behind your ear to make it look most natural. I'm just shoving up into my hairline the front clip and then putting the back clip in for security.
If you are using a heated tong implement to tong or wave your hair, then please protect your hair with a heat protectant spray today. I'm using for the first time, so I don't know how it's going to work. L'Oreal Paris Studio Line, hashtag TXT, how very modern, um, texture styling, wave creating spray. Heat activates waves on straight hair. It says you can use tongs as well with them. I'm just hoping it's going to protect my tresses from the heat of the waver and not give me too much of a sticky wave. I might have to abandon this if it doesn't work and just go with the normal. So I'm taking quite a large chunk of hair. These underneath sections aren't too important. And ow, burn my neck! And just closing the wavers. If you have thin, delicate hair, you will not want to hold these on your hair for too long. If you have thicker, more coarse hair, you know what your hair can take. If your hair is coloured, please don't hold them on too long. If your hair is not coloured, you can keep it on there for a little bit longer. Um, but obviously, your hair is your hair. You know. Now, after the first section, I'm moving it down. Almost one full movement, but not quite, because I want to catch that way from the last clamp. And then move down again to the last end. Can you see that? It's important to remember when styling your hair like this that you use the same, I guess the same side of the waver against your head each time so you have a uniformity to your waves. Um, if your waves are haphazard in their placing then you will get a more modern beachy waved look which is great but not what I'm going for particularly with this tutorial. my Betty Page inspired tutorial and um, thank you ever so much for watching don't forget to comment in the comment section down below you can also contact me at oakoscar100 at hotmail.co.uk or through Facebook or Instagram or Twitter I'll put all the links down below including the ones to the classy rebel hair piece and um, yeah that's about it take care thank you so much bye